Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 146. We're happy to have you here with us if you're with us now or if you're watching in the future, because uh, this is being recorded for all of you that are with us right here, right now. April 12th, we made it through the April Fool's Day. It's particularly nice that it landed on a Sunday. It wasn't too noisy or crazy. And Easter, I think that kept everybody kind of calm. Uh, today, short meeting. We'll do triage and then we'll cover anything that people want to cover. Uh, I was out for the last week and some, so I'm kind of uh, catching up on everything. Uh, so we'll just do triage and get caught up. Continue, continue, continue the caught up work. Whatever. That's not the way I want to say that, but anyway. Uh, nine bugs, but Bob assures me that they're not actually nine bugs. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, this is an old. Thing, right? This is out for a while. Yep. It's been a month. February 24th. It's been more, almost over a month. Well, uh, 28 days since my last request. Oh, a month since you last requested. Yes, that too. Um, uh, do we shut it down, I guess? Yeah. I, yeah. A month is plenty of time. Yeah. This is 2013 Wix. You're supposed to do some tool set. Doesn't fail to build, but actually not the right size. Uh, what? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think this is the bug. I think this is antivirus or interesting thing that the build won't fail though mm. I guess it depends on what's you know actually happening uh, if something yeah. comes along after the build and then you know tru I don't know truncates it I yeah I have no idea um, granted they are back on an insecure version so they should move up just to get the security fixes. Um, I don't know why that would change anything, though. No. no. Uh, we need log files. So we should point out that they should upgrade just for security fixes alone, and then a log file of this when it happens would be something to look at, although I've never heard of this happen to anybody else, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, for sure. Because we'd be hearing all about it a lot. Feature right. requests support the new M6 installer format. Well, they haven't quite described it, and Fire Giant already does this. And whether we do it with toolset is a different question. Um, and I'd rather not track, um, you know, roadmap level stuff and issues personally. Yeah. I know how much work it was to build this thing because we continue to build it. <laughs> so, well, and you know, again, they've they've been very quiet. They haven't discussed what you know MSIX is going to actually look like, what it's going to do. Yeah, I need to write my blog entry that puts my guess handling. out there. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because build is coming up in less than a month. So yeah, I know. Like that is that's where we're going to hear more about this. something, or um, you know, perhaps a little less vague yeah so anyway uh, I'm not going to be implementing this <laughs> there's a commercial version for this kind of thing and if we implement it as part of fire giant it'll be part of the FX thing because I expect it's going to be very similar um, so I don't know what we do with this put it back I don't know what that means I, I mean put it in the the backlog of if anybody ever wanted to do this the whole it's a gigantic feature to do all this work yeah that's, like I said I, I don't I don't like tracking roadmap level events as issues personally uh, all right so this would turn into a uh, if someone wants to do this they could use this issue number as a whip sure that's fair all right great it's a very large whip um, MSMQ fails if MSMQ feature isn't enabled during the immediate phase. Uh, that's entirely possible. 
Yeah, I took a very quick look at this. The problem is um, probably an API is missing or something. <laughs> well, yeah, the scheduling, it, it won't work if MSMQ isn't available um, at that point. It relies on MSMQ APIs right. to, uh, to build. Uh, so they might be trying to use VISM to do it during the... Right, use. right. All right, a deferred custom action runs DISM command. That's dangerous. Sometimes it works, but sometimes a DISM command can actually cause another MSI to install, and then you end up in stuck. Um, yeah, I mean, the <laughs> my immediate thing is, well, this is calling for a bundle right here. Um, separately, to actually make this work, you'd have to do, you know, the the trick that I've forgotten the name of now, um, that basically marshals all of the um, immediate, all, all the data currently gathered by the immediate phase over to the deferred phase and do all of your work there. Um, yeah, including all that stuff we do for rollback to marshal all the, to squirrel the rollback data yeah. back around and stuff. Yeah, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Um, for something that, you know, I mean, MSMQ hasn't been touched in many years. Um, so, yeah, well, it goes into the, we're not doing this, but if someone wants to, you could write a whip about how to do all of it. Yeah, I need to look up what that label is. Yeah, it's not a trivial amount of work to do all that. Right. <laughs> I love this. Jacob and Sean are like, not touching these. <laughs> Wix tool set three build tools must be installed to build. Okay using whatever that thing does. Uh, and a Docker image, MS build. Yeah, okay. I mean, to me, this smells more like a, you know, they just have to support on Docker. Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't use Docker, so I don't know well, it, what you have to do. Yeah, the files aren't in the right place or where do we expect them, and that's what the error is telling you. So, yeah, you're going to have to go deep, go dig into however this thing got installed. There's, and we don't verify in Docker right now. So, locally, I don't get any problems. So I expect it to run without, in a, oh, I expect it to work perfectly in a Docker image, not that Docker completely changes the world that you're running in by running in a container. That's not a good assumption. Um, yeah, so... External support. Yep. Localization of progress text does not work. I found the Swedish installer show up in English instead of that. Does that mean we don't have a Swedish? Um, yeah, I don't oh, actually wait. know if we have Swedish or not. No, no, this is, this is someone who's not including... They're, they're getting the... OS localization because they're not including the look strings. Oh, I'll I'll find the. We, I know we document this. Okay. Yeah, that would be it too. I don't know, there's a lot of different ways that they can get into that situation that are mostly Windows installer behavior. Returning retry and executes in use causes a hang. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I went through this. I don't think this is a Wix bug. I would have liked a little more context. So it's getting hung inside Win32U. Uh, um, to make the Wix project, to make MSI more verbose on what's going on. Uh, verbose log? I don't know. This could be a, a UI, like, window message problem. Um, where they're not pumping messages or something like that and got everything all tied up. Um, what API are we calling here? And what is win32u.dll? I think it's a win10 thing. Okay. 
Um, so it, it's not actually even clarified here, but it looks like this is a custom BA. Yep. Okay, so it could be it could be something in their code. It could be something in burn, which is why I oh, I but it like, still takes unrealistically long. Oh, okay. So it doesn't hang forever. It just hangs for a very long time. Yeah. Which again, uh, to me, doesn't you know point in the We're way of way. Not involved in that. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that. Well, this is the first time I've heard of something like this, although maybe a lot of people aren't hitting retry. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I, how much is in this code? Uh, mini dumps. I, I don't know that's... I don't know that mini dumps is going to be it. I provide a whole demo project and steps to reproduce. Where is the whole demo project? Oh, it's here. In a GUID? Interesting. Oh, it's a. Those are just log files. Oh, that's just, these are just log files? This is not. I think the project was in the original message, the original comment. Ah, there we go. Wix bootstrapper not zip. I don't really want it. Yeah, my bet is that they're doing uh there's a send message call and like the message pump isn't being pumped when they hit this point. Um so they've like blocked on a retry event or something. And that because the message pump isn't it, if what's happening is that they have the timeout, so eventually it gives up on trying to send the message and then does whatever it can do. That, or it's more along the line of what Blair suggested, if there's some sort of communication between MSI and restart manager that's taking a long time in this particular case. Um, potentially the restart manager trying to tell processes to stop, that's possible as well. Um, yeah, someone have to debug this one, and it's not going to be trivial. You have to dig into it. So, yeah, we'll have to be like, yeah, cool. I, you have a repro, you have a repro, dude. You know, go for it. I don't have a lot of interest in trying to spend the time and the steps to reproduce. Yeah, I don't want to try to reproduce the problem in my environment. I don't have time to do that. So, I think that's the answer. Someone needs to go look at this, and it may have to be. Daniel KU15. Right? Uh, yeah. Unless yeah, Sean, you want to jump in and dig into it. But I didn't hear that. That, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I heard. <laughs> so, yeah, something's going wrong. And it's possible it's in burn, but we've done retry stuff for a bunch of projects and haven't seen problems. So I'm skeptical there. Um, right. It could be the BA is not pumping messages properly or that there really is something. Or there's a process on the machine that doesn't want to work, like doesn't want to get shut down or whatever. So there's a couple of things. Um, but yeah, trying to investigate that issue, I'm not terribly interested in it myself. So we ha I have something for that. Well, except that, yeah, I have a template that says, yeah, if this has been open for a long time. So, all right. Um, moving on. Oh, look, another feature. Okay, sure, somebody could do that. I, I haven't seen enough interest in that, but okay. Uh, so that can go in the same spot as this MS Lax. Yeah, if someone wants to write the whip and do all the work. I'm running Works 311.1, okay. Oh. Great, so 
configure if exists is having an issue. Okay. It's going to turn into either, it's probably going to turn into a bug because there's not really much you can do in there. Right? It's, uh, yes, I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, it's all declarative, I guess, is what I'm saying in Wix. So it's probably going to be some behavior not working. Yeah. Maybe the upgrade is removing and then installing a new one or something. It's possible. It's yeah being shown yeah um, as an upgrade issue. Be interesting to look at it as outside of that case, just in case it is what you suggest. Yeah, okay. All right, well, I don't know. Am I, uh, open? It's not going to be shared. So, anyway, this is... This is going to take a whole lot of, yeah, debug, figure out what's going wrong. Configure iOS is doing its thing. It's not going to show you anything because it's all protected. So right. there's going to be no information in here. Um, it's possible the upgrade is removing it and then installing a new one. But whatever. That'd be a good guess. Um, I, I, I'm wondering if we need a... Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm at the point where I'm like, I'm I'm not going to spend a lot of time running down every single bug that gets reported personally, um, just because I'm obviously having not enough time to even get to Wix 4, uh, which is where I want to be spending my time. Um, so I'm wondering if we need a different answer than attach verbose logs that demonstrates the problem, because, I mean, if they attach the verbose logs, how much are we going to, like, is anyone going to do anything with that? Um, well, so, so there, there are two levels here, and we've seen them <laughs> in, in today's bugs, right? Yes. Um, uh, I default to asking for logs because I'm willing to spend, you know, some number of seconds looking at logs. Okay. Minutes, maybe. Okay. Um, and, and sometimes, you know, we can quickly discover the issue from logs, right? I mean, logs are the source of truth and all hail logs. Um, okay. But then we see other things where, you know, even with even with someone who does the work up front, you know, in the initial report to provide a repro case, um, problems don't take seconds or minutes. They take hours or days of, mm -hmm. of you know, deep debugging. Mm -hmm. And... No, I'm I'm not going to volunteer to do that, um, you know, in my copious spare time because I'd rather be writing code on Wix four, um, and and you know to a certain extent, um, especially I'll say in cases where you know there isn't uh, a clear cut case that it's actually a bug in Wix. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's a, yeah. This it's all a continuum of how much effort. Um, our contributors su supposed to, you know, put in or supposed to um, are willing to put in. Um, you know, in this case, logs were my first, you know, go to. Um, and in fact, if you look at the log, you'll notice that it is in fact during the upgrade removing the component. Now, whether yeah, you know, that means it's also removing the site. You can't tell because. All the data is hidden, but um, if it, it's doing an early upgrade, so it's removing it and then installing the new one. So, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know. So again, my ignorance of the IAS stuff. I'm like, okay, it's removing the component, but is there a flag, you know, an attribute no. in the IAS stuff to leave it no. behind anyway? No, no. Oh, okay. So it behaves so the way you would expect it to. In this case, the logs, you know, in a minute of of research, okay, solve the bug, right? Yep. Um, so, so I'm willing to go that far. Um, but yeah, then, you know, that sometimes that's not enough. And sometimes even with a bunch of data, it's still, you know, above and beyond. Well, like the retry thing. Something's wrong there. Log files yeah, aren't going to show us. Wrong. 
Yeah. Uh, and yeah. and it's so you know in, time in, is going to be spent reproducing the issue, putting it all together. If it doesn't reproduce, you know, yeah, anyway. yeah, yes, all that. Yep. All so right. Well, there's only so much we can do. Okay. Well, all right. So a quick look at the logs suggests that the early upgrade is causing the problem on this one, which is totally expected in the behavior. Yep. Um, granted, you have to understand the early upgrade interaction with the IIS stuff, but I, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, you have to learn that. I don't know a good way of teaching that. Yeah. So. All right. That's the answer to that one then. Are yep. we done then? I think so. These kinds of things against like MSMQ and stuff like that make me think about the whole pushing issues into their own extensions. Uh, when the extensions have their own repositories, pushing the issues for those extensions into those repositories. Um, yeah, I don't want to do triage on that. Yeah, and, but then, yeah, it's, finding all the bugs across all the thing is, I think you can get a query, but it's be a little bit of work and it's like, yeah. Anyway. The whole meh, MSMQ, not my thing. Someone else is welcome to fix the issue. <sighs> All right, other things people want to talk about today, right now, stuff going on. Pretty quiet out there. Jacob, have you finished moving all your houses and all that kind of stuff? You getting back to a normal life yet? No, maybe. <laughs> Jacob's gone. Um, yeah, came back to normal life. Good. Uh, um, I guess that's it. Quite a few issues, a whole bunch of things that... Waiting for all the snow to clear. Do you guys have snow? I guess it, it's April. All right, so March is gone. Should be going away. Do you have snow, Bob? Um, not today. Do you have? An, you don't have it on the ground. No, no. We've been for the most part above freezing enough that that everything went away. But yeah, there there are areas not that far away from me with um, that got snow recently, quite a bit of it. And, uh, yeah, and Jacob mentions this weekend. Yeah, even I'm sitting at uh, um, looking at a big storm this weekend that it you know the, the the problem you live in a in a wintry state you you begin to look at the um you know at the the way that they draw the lines for the winter storm watches and such uh -huh. you know like today right now it's 64 degrees absolutely love it um but if you look at the map there's a winter storm watch in the counties immediately to my north. <laughs> That's now, you know, it's so it's a question here. It's like, well, you know, um, and then, you know, you read some of the, um, the, the pros that the Weather Service puts out, and they start talking about how, you know, uh, from a line running from your city to some other city, north of that line will be, you know, six inches of snow, and south of that line will be pleasant rain. Um, I'm just like, oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. It's April. Storms still happen occasionally. Hmm. Still, that's like, Jacob's got more than, what, two feet there? <laughs> two weekends, that's crazy. Uh, I just got back from California. I'm like, oh, it's nice to be back in the a little bit of rain, and, you know, it's all green. And... Not that California weather. Nice when I was there, but yeah, I was going to say, is it ever not green? Uh, here, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That's what I mean. It's like all brown and stuff in California, but it's like I, I've forgotten. I mean, you know, I, I, California still feels like home for me when I, when I was born, but still, right. I like I, I guess I've been up here long enough to go. Yeah, there's no real mountains. It's not the same. So I, it's like, yeah, I guess I like living where living up the Seattle area. It works for me, and. Some comments on the five seven eight five for the daily build info. All right, cool. You can go investigate. I mean, basically, it comes down to a 
figure out where it put all those files inside of Docker image and go from there. So I have to do some investigation inside Docker. And the assumption that doing something inside Docker is the same as doing it on Windows is a huge bad assumption. Uh, you should assume the opposite. It's probably different. And figure out what the differences are is the important part. Yeah, I mean, use the instructions. It's a good point. All right, gentlemen. Um, uh, I think we were good here. Um, we will carry on in two weeks. I think everything should be all good. We'll be back on the 26th. My calendar is correct, and I can read it, which, as we all know, is a problem for me sometimes. Um, and uh, we'll see how things progress in that two weeks. I'm not holding out a lot of hope for weeks 4 right now, um, but I am looking forward to it coming soon after that, which means that my estimates or hopes and dreams of being done by June are probably um, well and thoroughly dashed, but um, we'll get there when there's a little bit more time to breathe. So, All right, guys, I guess we'll call it for now, and we'll see you guys in two weeks. Yes? Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Sean's just like, push the goodbye, say goodbye, then I'll say my goodbye. <laughs> yeah, there it is. That's what we're waiting for. All right, two weeks later. Bye. Bye.